Find functional hilarity at the Biffa Emporium. What do the Jersey women hold? Is it pistols? <laughs> what what do they hold? If you were <laughs> They hide them under their gums and they pull them out and they're ah! <laughs> their gum! <laughs> he said they hide them under This is why I love to have new people on the show, honey. <laughs> I never would have thought about that. But it's true. They're crazy. They're crazy. Oh Lord. But you don't, so you don't, you don't, um, censor out anything. I don't censor out shit. <laughs> Have I censored out shit, y'all? This is my friend Rob from On The Cheap Tip. Hey. He is actually a Jersey resident. I am so. a Jersey resident. I already have my, you hear the slurring already, right? <laughs> I have my wine all ready to go. It's not Pinot Grigio, but. Cheers. It's, you know, it's red wine. A good red. A it's good a good red. red. I'm the nice guy of the two, so I'll be like the Paul Abdul of the <laughs> duo. <laughs> and I will be Simon Cowell as usual. I mean, I don't really have this luxury of being so outspoken on my channel because I'm more of an informational channel, as we were talking about. So um, this will be interesting. I think the more I get drunk... Well, tell them about your channel. Oh, my channel is all about weight loss and... Uh, what else is it about? Everything weight loss. Weight loss, diets, fitness... Life hacks, whatever you need, I got you covered, boo. He has a lot of really good videos oh, about thank you. losing five pounds in you ten days. You did one of my videos, right? You did one of my diets. I tried. Yeah. <laughs> I think I made it through the first meal, and then I had to put butter on the toast, <laughs> and that's when I knew you the down military down. diet was not going to work. Not for and then for lunch, I had lasagna. Oh, so. <laughs> There I'm going to just get my jaw wired and my stomach stapled. There and go. he got videos about that, too. No, well, I mean, not that extreme. But, I mean, I did do a five-day water fast where I, did, I didn't eat anything for five days. So, can you handle that? I don't know. I, I just <laughs> admire your strength and your willpower. Anything for the For views. me to not eat anything for five hours means I was asleep for four. <laughs> That's what that means. I mean, I think that's for most people, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. It was a good video. It was a good video. So you do dance. I so do. you, you, you like, you know, tell them, tell them. Well, tell well, them. I do a little, little song, song. I mean, I, you're a, a dance instructor and you've yeah. done dance for like 10 years. Over that. Like, Chor you do choreography. Yeah, yeah. I do. You've been a backup dancer. Like, like, stop, stop, stop <laughs> downplaying yourself. Stop it! <laughs> I didn't have you on here to act like you ain't done shit. I ain't got ain't shit people on my show. Yes, I've danced a little bit. I've choreographed. I've toured all over the United States and stuff like that. But, but Check that's not, out the, his channel. The funny he thing dances is, in heels. He oh gonna yeah, teach me how heels. to dance. We gonna get my pussy popping, honey. Hey. We gonna get my pussy popping. That's really the project I, I would love. I wore my heels today. Woo. I didn't wear Those boots are fabulous. Ah. So get that leg up again. Get that leg up again. That, that is a fabulous boot. I'm not a boot bitch. I got out and honey, all you can get me in is looks like a pump, but it feels like a sneaker. <laughs> but, easy uh, spirit. He's, ooh, he know, he know, he know. Yeah, we gonna have the links below. Y'all check his ass out. We gonna get to Jersey. Yeah, let's get into it. I think I'm pretty up to date on what's going on. Oh, good. We had a compete to be continued. Did you see the fight in... Um, I didn't. Are they going to show the previews, though? Yeah, they'll, they'll catch you up in the previews, okay. so that's true. That's a waste of red wine right there. He just saw uh, Marge throw the red wine on... Daniel. Strumpet Staub. And the sad thing is, it blended right in with the dress. Oh, yes. <laughs> that God, that's so gaudy. It's so gaudy. You Ooh, that dress is gaudy. It's terrible. Oh, look, what in the 90s, hell? She's like, I'm going to be on Real Housewives of New Jersey. I got to dress the part. You going to be just fine, <laughs> honey. You going to be just fine. <laughs> was that good? That was good. That was okay, good. I'm on brand. Risa has blonde hair now. Well, you've seen chimpanzees with blonde <laughs> hair before. Maybe blonde wigs. <laughs> bubbles. And that's what... <laughs> Looking like Bubbles the Gym in a Coca-Cola commercial. <laughs> I don't think blonde is her color, though. Was brown her color? I don't think any color is her color. <laughs> I think we need to, like, you know... Didn't they used to do, back in the day, they did, like... They took off a couple layers of your hair line to make your forehead. <laughs> <hair. laughs> 
We need to let the eyes breathe a little bit. Oh, am I getting dirty? I really need to stop. <laughs> no. I'm the you angel. are giving a frank assessment. Let the eyes breathe a little bit. That's the God's truth. I never would have thought to say that. That's why you're here. That's why you're here. All I gotta say is there, the struggle is real for some camera time because everyone is starting to fight with everybody. <laughs> like what is, I mean, that was it. They weren't even involved in the fight and now they're, Melissa's getting into it. This new girl, I don't know her name. I'm just gonna call her new girl the whole time. <laughs> I don't mind, I don't mind. New girl with the shitty weeds. What's that about it? I don't know. And the outfit, I don't know what that's about. Is that a romper? <laughs> <laughs> is it a romper? It looks like a romper. It looks yeah, like a romper. It's interesting. I'm getting like, some. I didn't draw. It. Scissors, sisters, tease. Oh yeah, hello. I mean, it, I, I, it's, it's it's a passionate fight. Passionate. Like Floyd Mayweather and 50 Cent might have. <laughs> it's almost though like a fight where you're in someone's face, but you're like, is the camera on me? Is the camera on me? <laughs> Are they looking? Are it, they it, watching? If they ain't watching, I ain't got time for bullshit. Know. You know that right afterwards. They're like, let's go get a drink, girl. We're good. So now Delolo getting into it with uh, Jennifer. You're asking who I am. You're asking who I am. You should get your ass kicked. New girl looks like she had a couple of drinks in her. Oh, new girl <laughs> get real drunk and real froggy. That's how new girl work. Oh, uh, she like she's 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 a a little bit of she's a glass away from my heart. <laughs> <laughs> Less away from your heart. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. <laughs> this young girl's the new housewife, the blonde. Yes. Oh, she's cute. She's nice. I like her. I think they always need to put like a young one in to kind of start the new generation of the show. Yeah. Because then once they start, it's age, been ten years. They start like, aging out like Menudo, and they say <laughs> out, out, out the show. And also, it's like, we don't want to see you doing the same thing at fifty-two. We saw you doing at forty-two yeah. or thirty-eight. Yeah. And now we, we get into that point. Y'all want to see me grow and evolve. Y'all like how my channel changed. Yeah, exactly. The fact that Teresa said, I'm coming after you. You're my sister-in-law. Not you're my sister. <laughs> you're my, you're my sister-in-law. In law. <laughs> What's up with Teresa's dress? I'm sorry if I'm being fashion police on here, but... That's what the fuck we do. We talk about the unit. We talk about the dress. We talk about the shitty <laughs> shoe. <laughs> we talk about it, honey. We talk about it. Well, we talk about say, it all. That dress is easy pickings <laughs> at its finest. That's all I got. <laughs> What's what is this crisscrossy thing with the thing over here and then the? I don't know. There's a lot of new tit strap fashion going on. I don't I, it don't appeal it. to me. But then again, I'm not really a breast man. Yeah, I'm not a breast or a woman man. <laughs> Get off. But I know it looks good, and that does not look good. At all. No. What is... I don't get it. I don't like this. It's a 90s throwback. Something yeah. that a porn actress would wear. Yeah. In oh, yeah. a photo shoot. For, like, the porn Sucking awards. Sucking a pearl. Sucking yeah. a pearl. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's for the porn awards dress. Ooh, AVM realness. Yes. Maybe that's her next move. Gorilla porn, though? Bestiality? <laughs> There's a market. It's There's a, a market. It's a thing. It's a thing. Her husband sleeps in the pool house? Her husband sleeps in the pool house on a cot. A cot. A C-O-T. Cot. What's that? Is that not... Is that well, they have a house with like 30 bedrooms, 80 bathrooms, but they have an unhappy marriage. Oh! <laughs> Maybe it was out of line. Maybe I needed camera time. <laughs> yeah, that's why I broke the glass. <laughs> I mean, it was the same shit Mariah did on Married to Medicine, so let's let's not even rehash this plot line. Bravo, if y'all gonna be putting out shows, you gotta get your producers in touch and tell them not to run the same plays each season. It looks sorry, piss poor, and quite frankly, it's beneath you. <laughs> I don't think anything's beneath them. They're... That's a good point. That's a good ass point. I mean, look at the shows we got here. I still don't understand why you were so enraged that Danielle was engaged 19 times. Who cares? Okay, the heifer can't pick a man. That's what that means. <laughs> Ain't got shit to do with you or your husband. Was she engaged to your husband? No. Nobody wanted that baboon oh, no. but you. Can we talk about how um, Teresa is now uh, like 
putting therapist on her resume. <laughs> she is giving some therapy advice to people thinking that she is the matriarch of Real Housewives of New Jersey. The matriarch? I don't think you could be a monkey and a matriarch at the same time. I don't. God. I think you got to pick That's one so or the motherfucking other. <laughs> it's so bad. You're so bad. I'm sorry. I see a chimpanzee. That's oh, what I see God. before me. I and then let's not even forget to talk about the uh, the bankruptcy and the fraud. Oh, I know. <laughs> she is not the right person to be getting advice from. Just, just saying. On anything. <laughs> on anything. On marriage, on finance, yeah. anything. She's get, next. Next thing she's. Gonna I don't give, even want to eat her food. The next thing she's going to give advice on is how to do your taxes. <laughs> Now, see, Melissa, I ain't never, ever, 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 ever in my motherfucking life going to say you guys eat and I'm going to go whatever. I ain't never, ever, in my, ever, <laughs> ever, I'll just have finished eating. A bitch will shit and make room. That's probably why I'm so fat. <laughs> you want some brie? So she has a conscience now of how... People should be treated. Mm hmm. When it comes to Danielle, but not when it comes to Margo. With, with Danielle, though, like Danielle, who she flipped the table on, she's mm -hmm. like, oh, I don't like that she's not friends with her anymore. Well, when your husband's being deported and you've had to pay millions in restitution, you'll do anything to keep the lifestyle you've become accustomed <laughs> no, to, like... even getting in bed with Strumpet Staub. Wait, they got in bed? No, I just mean like getting in bed. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> Not literally. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Although they do, I, where's my scissors? I was at? like, they that's do a whole... give me scissors, sister T. That was a whole nother, nother show. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I love watching a show with somebody who like is kind of familiar but not yeah. totally up to date because no. there's like, wait, what? <laughs> I just, I just didn't realize that they were such good friends now. <laughs> like, when did that happen? Everybody is asking the same motherfucking question. <laughs> Apparently, when Joe went to jail, I'm telling you, Joe went to jail, and Danielle was like, honey, I got a plot line and a clitoris for you. Come on over here. Come on. But weren't, they were like mortal enemies at one point. Now they're just you, like No, honest to God, their real mortal enemy is poverty. <laughs> and this is seeing both of them fight that motherfucker together. They're like, <laughs> they're like how good can we make the storyline so that we can increase our profit margin this year? <laughs> Point blank, period. We'll be fine. We'll make it. We'll make it. Okay. So they've given us a flashback to when the other Jacqueline, uh, she was saying how Teresa told her that the gorilla was cheating. I'm, I wish to make these shows more realistic. They would really change the cast out often because some of the shit that's done, it's like, I ain't fucking with you after that. Yeah, no. I, I ain't coming back that. season after season for cash for that. The one thing that gets me is like, they always go on these vacations together thinking that it's going to be like this family vacation. But then it's like, the shit really hits the fan when they're on vacation. Like, what is that? That happened with me once. <laughs> this isn't going to be anything. But it's just going to be like them talking about, like, crap that I love that you know what's going <laughs> to You're like, I know the whole plot line of the of this show now. It, exactly. It's like, look, until the girls get together again, it ain't going to be shit. They just, exactly. They're going over Mexico. They talking about shit from past episodes. She's not getting along with the girls. I, you know, we behind schedule, so we can skip this. It's the same after every Real Housewives vacation. It's a home montage of all <laughs> the ladies getting back to their house, <laughs> cooking for their families, talking to their husbands, going over what happened on the trip. We already saw it. We saw it, what happened. Exactly. So wait, so she, that guy doesn't sleep with her? That guy doesn't sleep with her. Interesting. All right, now we have Margo and Teresa getting together at Melissa's behest. See, we didn't need none of that um, 12 minutes of rehash. No. Ah! Marge said I took Dolores' wine to throw on Strumpet Stall, but I didn't have a choice. You know, I'd already finished my drink. Fuck that shit. I love how they're going on and on about 
not talking about people's kids and people's families, but Teresa at some reunions has talked about people's kids and people's families. So <laughs> what is that about? Check her. <laughs> check, check her. Check mate. I think if you if you're going to check someone else, you need to check yourself first. Oh. And she does that reunion after reunion, but yeah. then says, No! Talk about my family! But she'll talk family. about family. Yeah. Family. Family. <laughs> With the B. I didn't know family had to be. It's like the Lambly. Just letting you know, I'm from Jersey, and that is not a lesson that we ever learned about uh, family. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, we don't talk like that by family. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, oh my okay. God! He thought that she had on the same dress. When yeah. uh, she was with the husband before the wedding that uh, Margo threw the red wine on. But no, that was a different, hideous garment. A different ugly dress. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Look at the, all their dresses, though. I mean, they, they, they don't ugly. put a lot of thought into to them. No, the sad thing is they do. I think, I know. Why would you wear that, though? I mean, I would not. I don't know if I'd choose to wear something with a print that looks like, I don't know. Vomit? Yeah, that's the word. <laughs> I mean, I'm seeing a lot of flashbacks on this show. Is this, I mean, I think they really need to rename it to like the rehash. Let's rehash to make it relevant again so that we have you something to You getting a season about. four okay. tease? I really am. I mean, you're getting like all of their old stuff coming back up again. It's like, well, you said this back in 1995. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, we are really, we're reaching for a storyline here. That's what this whole show is about, right? Just, story Just a reach. Just and a reach, reach for a storyline. <laughs> I wouldn't even say it's about a storyline. It's about an attempt at a storyline. <laughs> but they're doing much better than some of the other housewives now, right? Especially OC. No, oh, or Potomac. Oh, Lord. <laughs> they don't got a storyline amongst them or their husbands or Sharissi. So I'm guessing that Jackie is like the Tamra of the season. I don't know who Tamra is. Ta what? Tamra was the young one at the time, but then she got older. And then she's not. <laughs> no. She just aged out of that young role. She, did. she was half young when they got her. Yeah. That's what it was. No. Is 40 young? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> 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 That's not too far around Ooh, the Tell me, honey, I ain't nothing but four doors <laughs> down myself, so. <laughs> That's when it's like, ooh, I'm closer to 40 than I am. Anything the fuck else. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> True. Oh, Lord. Uh, but we don't look it, and that's what's important. Yes. Puerto Rican don't crack. <laughs> I mean, I, these girls have to search for a storyline. That's just the thing. I mean, I, I must have repeated that a million times. But if you are, have ever, if you have ever <laughs> attempted to do reality television, that's what it's about. Have Who, you attempted to do ones that haven't aired? Thank, thank you, God. <laughs> but yes, and you create a storyline to keep your job, basically. These girls are not living this life. Oh, oh, let me tell y'all. Everybody ask me, what does Biffa mean? Biffa this is like... not a combination of bitch and heifer. Oh, it's not? It's not. I thought it was. It is not. I said it all the time. I said it when I walked out. I was like, hey, Biffa. <laughs> yes. But a Biffa is a heifer who has self-actualized. She has become... The heifer she has always wanted to be. Now she's still a heifer, and not shameful, but she's a heifer. better heifer. She's like open about it. Mm -hmm. She's like I'm a heifer and I'm. Proud. I am who I am, but also I have, I own, I earn, I am. So is B like a big heifer? Yes. Oh, it's the big to... heifer. It's the better <laughs> heifer. I actually look at it as better heifer. I love it. I but love if it. you just put a B on it, it's like no, you got to put an I in there. Biffa, Biffa. I just think Big Heffa. Biff, Biffa. Yeah, because Biffa does, it's just, it spells differently phonetically. It's like, you say Biffa rather than Beffa. Beffa, yeah. Beffa don't sound right, so no. it's got to be Biffa, Biffa with the I. Better. Because she's intelligent. <laughs> she's creative. She has an education. But she ain't fucking Sheree with that non-ass clothing line, I can tell you that. <laughs> She has a 3.9. She, he, whoever, <laughs> whatever you want to call your genitalia, honey. I don't give a fuck. I ain't looking at it. I don't give a fuck. Oh, my God. 
She has the rollers in the hair, but is that the is that the actual dress that she's gonna wear? Cause that is like a hot. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Ah, you didn't even look at that. <laughs> ah, what is this? What in the Pirates of Penzance is this? What is going on there? I oh mean, my God! What <laughs> in the Pirates of the Caribbean? Hell! Oh my God! I'm about to sit right back and hear a tale—the tale of a faithful ship. These are very unflattering shots of her. <laughs> From behind, I'm a little uncomfortable. I will say, just a little. It was just like Margaret's ass everywhere, every two seconds. Just ass, and it ass, wasn't just one ass. shot. It was like a bunch of shots. They were trying to get like shots of other people, but her ass just kind of like leaned in like a fucking moon. You know what I mean? It was just like there. And you know, all they did was shrink that shit and make it shady. Whoa. Is that what they do on this? Yo, we do the same thing in our videos. We just shrink our shit to make ourselves look better. <laughs> this is a fashion show for hospital gowns? For children's hospital gowns. You're for kids with cancer. Absolutely kidding me. No, and they're actually, like, really cute. Because it's like, you know, if you've got a kid with cancer, put him in a racer's outfit. Like, you don't want to put him in a hospital gown. That's depressing. But I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm behind it. I don't know. It, it, I'd give them five dollars. I'd give them ten. To me, it seems a little sad that they're having kids come down in hospital gowns down the runway. They're going to be serving attitude oh with God. illness. No way. <laughs> no way would this ever happen but a reality show. I would never have, never in my life. If I see some like wavy models walking down the runway, showing off some hospital gowns. Maybe I'm with the IV drip. I'm gonna lose Fashion. my shit. Turn to the left. Sashay. I'm gonna lose it. Turn to the right. Sashay. <laughs> Shantae. She did not break a glass in her face. Melissa's complaining that she broke a glass on her face, but she didn't break a glass on her face. She's like, oh my God, she stabbed me in the eye with a piece of glass. Like, that's the way she's, I mean, that's like. I'm she sure. putting 20 on 10. She she's like, 20 she was across 10. the table and broke it for the camera. And then you came running around the table. To True. Like you came running right up. Oh, you want a moment? I'll give you a moment. <laughs> she's like, wait, camera. This is drama I need to be insert myself into. Yeah. Let well, me make the trailer. That's what they all do. Oh, true, right? Oh, she thought there was a trailer moment. That's so... That is really interesting. Because mm -hmm. if you make the trailer, you know you're going to make next season. Oh, yeah. She's like, wait, this is a trailer. Let me run around the table and make sure I'm... You here. got the wrong one now! <laughs> I done been on eight seasons. You ain't got me! And that'll be like the intro. You got the wrong one. See what happens on the New Jersey Housewives. <laughs> Coming up next. <laughs> uh, but the episode over. Um, Is it over? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they ain't doing. They ain't, they, it's the fifty-seven. They ain't giving Let's nothing see what else. Happens. Let's see what happens. No, really, it's just the kids. How do you know this? I've been watching like the franchise for ten years. I'm like, I know how the shit it. shakes out. She looks like she's saying something important, though. No, it's not. I'm having a breakdown. Did you see Brett was crying? What? What? Read the, oh, the subtitles. They were happy. I was. Yeah, they're happy. They're, they gonna they're, end it on a happy note, and the next episode is gonna be real drunk. Yay! Cause he's a good co-host, honey. We got a good long episode out of that. This was fun. I mean, there was a lot of drama. <laughs> oh my honey, a you lot ain't of creative drama. drama. It's a lot of creative. Oh drama. no, this is like setting up for a big blow up episode. Oh yeah, they're waiting for the season finale because that's mm -hmm. where it's gonna all happen, and they're gonna be like, "Let me make my mark so that I can come back next season." But then Andy Cohen's like, "Bitch, you're good." <laughs> <laughs> so what did you think about this episode? I thought it was. I don't. I feel like it was like a big recap. No, I'm with you. Actually, I'm with you. It was like you. a recap of re, let's rehash and recap everything we did this whole season in this one episode because we're just really reaching for some content that we. Can uh, all right. Well, we will see you soon at <laughs> some point because we gonna come back to the show. Yeah, this was a good ass episode, and y'all have yourselves a fabulous weekend. I'm guessing. It's Friday at 6. He got shit to do. I got shit to do. So this will probably be out Saturday morning. Yeah.
Toodles toots. Bye. So as my mugs say, tell a kin, tell a friend, tell that heifer you hate to head over to the Biffa Emporium for a cute collection of hoodies and mugs. Link below.